So once again, we find ourselves in the haunted mansion where I'm trying to get the hang of this gouache stuff. How's it going? Well, this time I used transfer paper to get my sketch of the hatbox ghost down on top of that dark background I painted. Yeah. And because with gouache you can paint light colors over dark, I started layering in some ghostly blues. You gotta love the hatbox ghost. How do you think this one went with the gouache? I think I'm still trying to get the hang of the gouache to water mix. Like sometimes I mix too thin, sometimes not thin enough. And the whole reason I'm trying gouache for these Disney ghosts is because Mary Blair used it for her early Disney concept art. Her stuff is really inspiring. It's super inspiring, mm -hmm. but I know it's going to take me more than just a couple of ghost paintings to get near where I want to be. What's nice, though, is the medium is pretty forgiving. It dries to a nice matte finish, and the colors stay rich and vivid. Or as rich and vivid as a cadaverous pallor can be in this uh, case. Yeah, well, deathly pale is still a color. 